Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I'm pretty excited for this video because I'm going to be doing a pretty simple full face look using a bunch of products from Paul and Joe Beauty. Um, I do have a few substitutes to throw in which is just mascara, eyebrows, and a spot concealer but almost everything is going to be Paul and Joe Beauty. So before we jump in I do want to let you know that all the products I'm talking about today from Paul and Joe were sent to me through Octoly so they were PR and not purchased them with my own money. This is still just going to be my honest of thoughts and I have already submitted reviews for all of these products through Actoli. I'm doing this completely on my own accord. I just wanted to talk about them some more. I feel like Paul and Joe, I just don't feel like I hear people talk about them very often and I did discover them through Octoli. That's how I became familiar with them, um, which I'm grateful for because I feel like they have super, super cute, like aesthetically pleasing products and I really like the quality. So I just thought I would give them a little spotlight today. So let's just go ahead and jump on in. Okay, so first off, I actually have two different primers from Octoli and I'm gonna go ahead and use them both today just for the heck of it. So the first one here, what are you called? This is the Pearl Foundation Primer in 002. I feel like you can tell, like, I mean, that's not that much used out, used out of this, but you only need a little bit, so I have been using this a lot. And I feel like it's good. It's kind of like, you can see it has, like, little crushed um, pearls in there. So I feel like this has, like, the texture of, like, almost like an oil for a foundation primer. It just adds a little bit of hydration, a little bit of brightness. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rub that in. I do like this just because this is the kind of primer I prefer, something that helps with dry skin. So it soaks in really nice and everything. I wouldn't say it's my go-to hydrating primer, but it does just leave like a really nice feeling on the skin. I was also going to mention, if you're not familiar with Paul and Joe, I believe that they are sold on Beauty Bay and Beautylish, but the next product I'm going to be going into is the Moisturizing Foundation Primer in the shade 01. It just looks like this. Super cute, nice, like, glass packaging, and this is such an interesting primer. They do have different shades available, but I normally just go in with, like, one pump is enough, and this is honestly, like, a CC cream to me which I don't know if it will be depending on like what color you get and what your skin tone is. It adds a little bit of coverage, it adds some hydration, and I personally prefer to use this less as a primer and more as like a really natural foundation day. Oh man, I should have just like rubbed it in on one half and not the other so you could see the difference more, but it just adds like this really beautiful glow to the skin. It adds a little bit of coverage. I mean, if you have like crazy acne, ac acne, crazy acne or crazy redness, um, I don't think it, this will probably be your go-to choice. But like, look how beautiful that looks. Like, it is crazy. I mean, I guess you could just use a C CC cream if you wanted, but I just think this looks beautiful on the skin. All right, so there's what it looks like all blended in. So beautiful on the skin. I can't stress that enough. So really quickly, I am just going to go in with a spot concealer. I've been using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer in the shade 10.0 Light Fair N. What a name. Um, and I've just been using this for spot concealing because it's really thick, but it has like almost a glowy texture to it. So I'm just going to like kind of divide that between like the little areas of redness I have. I'm actually not even going to go in with a concealer underneath my eyes or anything because I want this look to be super incredibly natural and soft and like I don't want any like full coverage. I just want to slightly cover up some of my breakouts. And I feel like this is a good concealer for this because it like the texture, like that dewiness, I feel like it just kind of blends right in. Like it doesn't look like I'm wearing a heavy concealer. Alright, so now I have some cream products to go into, so I'm going to start off with blush. This is their gel blushes, and I have the shade 04 and 02, so I figure I'll just swatch them for you real quick. 02 is like this really beautiful light pink. I am kind of drawn to this one to use it because it's more of just like a like really natural pink color for me. So there's what that looks like. It's just like a little like really pretty flush to the skin. And then 04, I actually haven't used this on my face yet. I just tend to reach for the lighter color first, but here's what 04 looks like, which it blends out to a really beautiful shade as well. You could That was just going with a tiny bit. You could definitely make these more pigmented. I think for the heck of it, I'm just going to go ahead and use 04 today, just so you can see, because I've used 02 on um, 
on a video already so I actually am going to go ahead and I applied this with my fingers before but today I'm going to go ahead and use like my sponge and just pick up a little bit and I'm going to pop that onto my cheek that got pigmented real fast okay my bad all right so I'm just going to kind of place that where I want it just try and blend that out so it just adds a really just like really natural soft blush to the skin all right so there's what it looks like all blended out I use just the tiniest amount so like I said you could definitely make that more pigmented but I think that's all that I want to use today all right so next I have a cream highlighter I'm trying to decide if I should do that now or highlight afterwards after I do the eyes I think I'll highlight after I do my eyes I think really quickly I'm going to go ahead and just set like the center of my face because I do have a setting powder from them. Here's what the packaging looks like. This is actually reusable and like the packaging comes separate from the product and I don't really understand. Like they try to tell me how to get this to stay in but my pan just falls out like it does not want to stay. Um, the only way, I mean it's safe, is if you keep the little powder puff in there and then like it's fine. It won't move around so that's what I've done with it. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to use powder puff because I just don't want to get that much product. I'm just going to grab, just grabbing a little Luxie brush and I'm just going to slightly just set like the center of my face. This definitely has like a pink undertone and I'll make sure to leave the color down below because I'm not sure what it is. Um, but it does add like a little bit of a brightening effect. Alright, really quickly I'm just going to go ahead and do some like natural brows. I'm going to use my Anastasia Brow Duo in the shade Taupe. I actually hit pan on this so much that it broke and I had to repress it. I did a horrible job, but it works. Alright, I am going to go ahead and just very quickly prime my eyes. Alright, so for eyeshadow today I'm going to go ahead and use this tiny little cute box. This is their Eye Color CS119 and you have to like take the ribbon off to open it. It is... A little bit bougie but it's so cute and here's what it looks on the inside so I feel like this is like I swatched them and they feel a little bit sheer but there's something about this that just feels like just like soft elegant color I'll swatch them for you guys now so you can see there's like a little champagne shade there's like the eggplanty shade I got a little blue in there and then like that light soft blue so there's what the shadows look like and I figured I would go ahead and do a simple look using those today I'm going to go ahead and start off with the light blue and I'm, oops, that's powdery. I'm just going to go ahead and dust that through my crease. What the heck happened there? Do you see those hairs? Goodness. That blue actually might have a little tiny bit of sparkle in it. I thought it was matte. Well, this is awkward. I'm going to go ahead and take that blue along my lower lash line. I would say like on the inner two-thirds. I'm going to leave this little part right here blank. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and dip into the purple. I'm going to put this on my outer V. So I feel like that's applying like pretty sheer. But it is blending okay and it's not like not sticking on my eye like it's working it's just i feel like these are like those like luxury shadows where it's like just very very soft and subtle and it, you know it's probably not for someone who like does incredibly bold eye looks all the time like me but it's still working and it's still i mean it's it's soft all right i'm gonna go ahead and grab that little purple on the tiny brush and just put that on like the outer part of my lower lash line all right now I'm gonna go ahead and take the champagne shade and I'm gonna put that all over my lid I wouldn't say this is necessarily bad it's just not my style as far as eyeshadows goes I feel like I can like get down with a natural face but my eyes I'm always like I just love something intense going on on the eyes. See, I feel like if that champagne was more metallic, 
with these like lighter colors I think that'd be really pretty but it just kind of looks almost matte going in with a touch more of the blue all right so that is the eyeshadow look for today I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some mascara I'm just using the Lorac Royal Treatment Primer and Mascara Duo but I'm not even gonna use the primer today because I'm lazy all right, now I'm going to go into highlighter, and I'm going to use their stick highlighter in the shade 001. This is the cutest highlighter you will ever see in your life. I don't even want to use it because it is so cute. It has a little kitten on it, right? You roll it up, and it's a little kitten with a hat. Do you not just die? Look at that little cat. So I'm going to go ahead and sadly use this highlighter and I'm, oh god I'm so scared I'm so sorry cat I'm just gonna like tap this on like the top of my cheekbone right here just blend it in Ooh, that's pretty just a very like natural cool toned little highlight why do I feel like I'm killing a cat right now It does make a little bit of rattling. I'm actually just going to grab a little bit um, with my eyeshadow brush. Honestly, the cat survived pretty well that first use. And I'm going to pop that on the inner corner of my eye. My eye. The inner corner of my eye. The inner corner of my eye for a little bit of highlight. I think that adds a lot of value to this eye look. Okay, last but not least is lips, and I actually own four different lipsticks from Paula and Joe, so I thought I would go through and do lip swatches. I have used this one a bunch, but I haven't used the other ones yet, um, but I will just bring attention to their packaging before we even get into it. Like, this one has, like, all the little cats on it. This one looks very vintage -y. This one just has, like, the one cat. And then this is like, um, it came in a set with this, so like the packaging matches. But the cool thing about their lipsticks is that they pop out and like they don't come in the packaging. So you can buy whatever packaging you want. You could pop your lipstick into whatever you want and you could just like, like you could get the cute packaging and like keep using it. You know what I mean? Like even if you use the lipstick, so it just pops right out. Like this one is the shade CS113. And then it just pops right back in this one I accidentally smushed that's why it looks so ugly but um I really love that I think it's a super cool idea so I'll just go ahead and start off with this shade which this is like a really beautiful sheer cool tone pinky glossy type of shade I have a little bit of chapstick on my lips so I'm just kind of wiping that off all right so here's CS113 This is super comfortable on the lips. So it's just a really pretty cool tone. Glossy pink. I really like this. Okay, next. <laughs> Alright, we'll do another nude next. This shade is N308. Roll it up so you can see. It's like a really pretty nude. Um, okay. This is like, it's a little bit more opaque than the previous one. It didn't feel quite as sheer. But do you see that beautiful glossy finish? This is definitely like a warm peachy neutral on me. But man, these lipsticks are so comfortable. I love the finish. Like, I didn't have any balm or anything left underneath. Like, that is just the lipstick. Okay, next I'm going to do this one. I don't know why I keep showing you the packaging, because I literally just put them in this packaging. Like, I chose it. Like, the packaging doesn't match the lip color. But this one is N214. Oh, my gosh. It's, like, another really pretty neutral. This one looks a little bit more on, like, the pinky side. That actually looks like my lips, but better. So close to my lip color. 
I don't know if you can tell, but they have like a little flower printed in them too, which will go away if, after the first use, but it's cute. There, you can kind of see the flower. Oh my gosh. This is literally my perfect my lips but better color in a glossy finish i'm obsessed what were you n214 beautiful all right last but not least is the one i have in this little packaging and this is a darker shade this is n306 you can see it's kind of like a reddish tone Pretty opaque. All right, so this does not go with the eye look that I have on today, but this is so beautiful. It's such a juicy red. Like, I love it with this dress, actually. I think that's a beautiful combination. If I had, like, a just, like, a neutral eye on. So comfortable, so glossy. I'm glad that even in the darker tones, that formula feels the same. Super glossy and comfortable. I stink at lining my lips, so I feel like it looks super uneven right now, but very, very beautiful. I think I'm going to go ahead and put a nude shade back on, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is the finished look, and I hope you enjoy getting to hear a little bit more about Polly and Joe from me. I would say, at the end of this, the standout products for me would definitely be this primer. I love this primer so much. I think it is so beautiful on the skin and also the lipsticks i know that three of these lipsticks today were a first impression but i have been using this one for like maybe the last like two months and i love it and i love the formula and for some reason i wasn't expecting the formula of these to be the exact same i feel like it's almost too good to be true they are so beautiful and comfortable comfortable and I just absolutely love the glossy finish and I feel like this shade, I can't remember what it was already, I already forgot, but I will have them listed down below in the order that I tried them on, but this nude is about to be like my new go-to nude. So very happy with the lipsticks and the primer. I mean, I think all the products are really beautiful and they all work, but those are just my favorites. Um, I would say my least favorite would probably be the eyeshadow just because it's not really my style but overall i think that everything is good quality so if you have tried anything from paul and joe i would love to hear your thoughts what your favorite product is or if there's something you want to try i'd love to chat with y'all in the comments and i will see you in the next one bye